Reddick left the Arizona Cardinals to go to the Carolina Panthers and kind of be used more as a traditional edge rusher, and it was met with incredible success. Things were, went really well there. First, let's start off with a play like this. So let's start off with, with a running play. Why not? So it's going to be a rushing play, and you see where he is on the screen. He is over to the left. So it's going to be a run to the offense's right. And typically, the way this works is, you know, in a situation like this, you can't block everybody. Uh, so what do you do? Well, oftentimes, if it's a run to the right, what you can do is just leave the edge rusher on the left side of the screen unblocked. However, look at how right when this play begins for Reddick, what you're going to see is that as he starts to run closer in, uh, there's a, you know, this is pretty well defended by Carolina, so there's not really a great hole for Miles Sanders to be able to run through, which allows Reddick to be able to now have an opportunity to make this play, but he's also doing a very good job of just closing up his lane. He's not going to give up containment, and he does have to be afraid of a potential Jalen Hurts run as well. You know, that's something that can happen, so that's also part of why you run this play if you're Philadelphia, is oftentimes you can get those edge rushers out of position, but Reddick is playing this perfectly. This is exactly what you want to do. If Hertz kept the ball himself and ran to the left. Reddick would be able to run over and make a play. But since that's not happening, you can see Reddick be able to run over and he makes a play on Sanders. So good stuff right there in the run game. Uh, people oftentimes only really pay attention to edge rushers in terms of pass rush, which that's what a lot of this video will be as well. But the running game is, in my opinion, just as important, if not more important. And he can definitely do that. All right, let's go over to something like this. Now, let's talk some pass rush. We'll start off with this one. It's going to be a one on one matchup right here against Philadelphia's right tackle. And look at how right when this play begins, you see how. Okay, so you have the uh, the arm length right here. Really, the hand placement is going to be the key thing to take a look at because obviously hand placement matters so much here in the NFL. What Reddick is basically doing is he's going to grab on to kind of that right uh, shoulder pad, really like right, right pec area, and kind of just pull. So the right tackle's left pec area, really, that's where he's grabbing onto. So it's Reddick's right side, which is you know our left and the tackle's left and watch what he's going to be able to do watch him pull, pull this off he's going to be able to get through and he gets over to Jalen Hurts and gets a sack right there so you know, again uh good stuff I think by Reddick on a play like that and that's kind of uh what he can do pretty consistently I mean when he is getting pass rush snaps he definitely will get you some pressure and he'll get you some pretty clean pressure something like this is fun as as well where Reddick is definitely a guy who he can move he's a fast guy he's definitely a speedy edge rusher and he can use these speed rushes at times and this is going to be a great example I mean this first step you're going to see is just going to be fantastic I mean look at that just immediate burst of speed right there very explosive and I should mention the guy he's going up against is no slouch by any means this is Jordan Mailata uh, who's a, a very good tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles but you see that you know right here Reddick was able to just get by him so that's good Milano tries to push him out of the way but there's nothing you can do at that point and Reddick is able to get the sack so I mean uh, that's really two impressive plays right there and he was able to pull off multiple sacks against one of the better tackles in the NFL so just that game alone it just shows off that's where some of his talent is. Let's go over to this play now. So he's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against a right tackle once again. This time it's a Jets right tackle. This is George Fant right here. So again, uh, not a quite, we're, we're going to step down for sure, but still uh, watch what he's going to be able to do here. Right when this play begins, so you see very quickly he's getting into his moves. He does not waste time whatsoever. He's going to try and swipe Fant's right hand down. Now worth mentioning, this is not a pure pass rush situation. This is the play action. That's why you see Fant kind of charging Reddick the way you see him doing it, which is kind of, I think, very unique. And so for Reddick, he's, again, trying to get to, this, to the side. And because of this kind of this the quickness of this play and the fact that Fant's running into Reddick, Reddick typically has a very quick first step. A lot of guys, I think, you could see getting kind of mixed up in this situation. But Reddick powers through, and watch how he then is able to get over, and he's going to cause a fumble, actually, on that play. Wilson thought he could get away from Reddick. This was week one, Wilson's first game in the NFL, maybe a, a welcome to the NFL moment. Hey, you're not going to get around these guys. Uh, maybe just throw the ball away there. Uh, but that's kind of a you know, again, very good play by Reddick. I also like this one. I think it's a good example, even though it's going to be easier competition, even more so than George Fant. This is going to be against a tight end right here. So you expect him to be able to beat a tight end. There's no denying that. Look at how right when this play begins. So you see in this situation, it's almost like a basic uh, pass blocking scenario, but you're going up against lesser talent. Now there is a halfback who's also working on Reddick. So that helps, right? You have 
it's like, okay, you, you don't have a tackle on him or an offensive lineman, but you have at least two guys on him, so that should make things easier. But watch what Reddick is going to do here. Again, watch him just basically yank the tight end over. He's going to run over, and he doesn't actually get the sack there. He is going to somehow still end up with a sack on this play. He gets up and makes the sack later, so kind of a weird scenario. But that's a good example of kind of, again, the technique he has. He can be very good at the, that pole move. Uh, that's kind of one of his one of his staples from what you see and he's just he's a talented player I mean he's someone who brings a lot to the table and as long as you're giving him pass rush snaps like that the uh, Cardinals didn't always do uh, he's gonna do a lot of good stuff for you there's no denying that Philadelphia is a team that clearly values that position so they are paying him 45 million for three years so 15 million a year 30 of which guaranteed and listen He's a really talented player. Let's get into that talent. So yeah, I mean, listen, there's several things we can talk about with this signing. The first of which is just, you know, this is classic Philadelphia, right? It feels like, you know, they won a Super Bowl. Uh, they had a lot of stuff going well with the Super Bowl. You know, really good receiving core, uh, good quarterback play, regardless of whether it was Foles or Wentz, but also good edge play and good offensive and defensive line play in general. And it seems like that's something that they truly value. And if you value it, well, you got to go out and get a good edge rusher. They didn't really, they didn't have like a, a gaping hole, I wouldn't think. But going out and getting a Hassan Reddick, it makes a lot of sense. He does have versatility. He can play coverage if you need him to. I don't think they'll really have him play much coverage. I think he'll be just a traditional edge rusher, which to me, that's the way to use him is you go out and you get that traditional edge rusher. You get someone, you know, that's what, that's what fits that scheme. And that's kind of where he's perfect at. So uh, he was used incorrectly in Arizona. So that's why I'm not concerned about the fact that he has performed poorly in certain schemes before. Because the last year in Arizona, he was used the correct way and had success. And then when he went to Carolina, he was used correctly and had success. So now in Philadelphia, they will use him correctly and he will have success. I feel pretty strong about that. It does seem like to some degree, this is kind of their Derek Barnett replacement, I think. But Quite frankly, uh, I kind of feel like this is an upgrade. Barnett was a solid starter for them. Uh, I think that that Redick, he's just, he's he elevates, and he is a better player than that. So, uh, listen, one thing that you're going to hear me say on every video I make about edge rushers is I'm always concerned about paying an edge rusher big money. I just am. I've seen too many guys get big money in free agency and then all of a sudden not play well the next uh, year. Edge rusher does seem to be something where, you know, it tends to be pretty like consistent year in and year out. I would say like if you're good one year, you're probably going to be good the next year. But I just think it's something that's a bit overvalued. And especially like someone with a high sack number, that can be something that like can vary it can have some variance year in and year out. So you do have to be concerned about that a little bit. But I think Reddick will fit, fit. I think that you're going to get what you're paying for with him. That's that's my prediction here. Like his advanced numbers back up his sort of box score numbers. So that's cool. That's what you're hoping for with someone like Reddick. Uh, and so I think he's a good player. I think that this is a very Philadelphia move. I think that this helps the Eagles. And that's the goal at the end of the day is to help your football team. So uh, I think it's a I think it's a good move. Also, I mean, I'm just thinking about this. Like the starting four now, uh, Javon Hargrave, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, and now you have Hassan Reddick. That's a great starting four here. And they had the cap space at 17 million. This is the advantage of having a quarterback on a rookie deal is you can go out and kind of make these moves. So that's kind of, you know, that's why you do this, right? And because of that, they can add the talent on defense. We'll see if it pays out. Uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this move? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.